Welcome back to another inaugural Which MacBook Should I Get as a Music Producer on October 31st, 2023. Last night at the Scary Fast event, Apple announced three brand new MacBook Pros featuring an M3 chip, M3 Pro chip, and an M3 Max chip. Which one should you get as a music producer or what stuff should you focus on when you're upgrading your configuration? Now, what I say as a music producer, always focus on CPU first, then RAM, then your SSD storage because SSD can be expanded with an external drive. CPU, RAM cannot, but CPU comes first when it comes to music production and then the RAM. Currently, I'm using an M1 Max 16 inch MacBook Pro and I feel no need to upgrade to these new M3 chips. So if you are using an M1 Pro or above, don't even think about upgrading, don't waste your money. But if you are on an Intel based Mac or a base M1 Mac computer, you may wanna start thinking about just shelling out some money and getting an upgraded Mac. The difference going from Intel to an M based chip Mac was insane for me. And I'm sure going from an Intel base to an M3 chip is gonna be even bigger from me going from Intel to an M1 Mac. So three brand new MacBook Pros were announced at the Scary Fast event. We got two 14 inch models and one 16 inch model. And it also comes in a new color that is called Space Black. And it kind of looks like a darker version of Space Gray. Now I should mention if you are getting the base M3 chip, not the Pro or Max, you cannot get that Space Black color. You can only get Silver or Space Gray. If you bump up to the Pro or Max chip set, you can get that space black color, but you can't get space gray in the Pro or Max chipset. Just some weird configurations that Apple decided to go with on this one. So if I was a music producer, I would jump over to look only at the base M3 and M3 Pro models. Now, depending on what your budget is, it's really going to help decide where you want to go here. So for the base M3 model, you're going to get an 8-core CPU, a 10-core GPU, an eight gigs of unified memory and 512 gigs of SSD storage. And that comes in at a price of $15.99. If you go to the next model up or the next sort of upgraded tier that Apple breaks down, you get a one terabyte hard drive and that comes in at $17.99. But like I said, upgrading the SSD should be the third thing on your list. CPU, RAM is golden when it comes to music production. So as a music producer, I would focus in on this M3 14 base model. I'm happy with 512 SSD storage because I can always expand it with an external hard drive. Let's click select. The only thing I would want to upgrade here if the budget allows it is the memory. So I would go and bump it up to 16 gigs of unified memory and that will bring us to 1799 that 16 gigs of memory for me is really important for music production it just gives you that extra juice if you're running larger sessions but now at a price of 1799 and this is how apple gets you you start to think well what if i jump up to the m3 pro model because that base comes with an 11 core cpu a 14 core gpu now music production we don't care about gpu but uh, it's there, so why not use it if you are into video production as well. You get 18 gigs of unified memory, which my base is 16, so you get a couple gigs extra there, and you get the same amount of storage, and that comes in at 19.99. So off the bat, if the budget allowed it, that would be the machine that I would go for myself. You get a good amount of CPU power, you get a good amount of memory, and it decent size of SSD storage. But again, you can always upgrade your storage for your sounds and your library on an external drive because that's what I do anyways. That would be the model I go for. 1999, you get an M3 Pro chip and most of all, you can get that new color, the space black color, which is basically looking like a darker space gray. Now, of course, you can go ahead and take a look at the MacBook Air M2 15 inch model. You get a bigger screen, similar specs to the M3 chipset, but I wouldn't go waste my money on M2 Air just because of the price is very close to the base model over here. Let's go ahead and just quickly spec that out. I'm going to go to MacBook Air, uh, scroll to buy, and let's do a comparable spec to the M3 Pro base model. So here's 512 SSD that is comparable to the base Pro 14 model. And we're going to make sure we're going to get 16 gigs of RAM. So that's $16.99. So that's $100 more than the base model of the M3 Pro with 8 gigs of memory. But if we go back to that MacBook Pro model, the base one, and we're going to go spec this base model out, we're going to get a grand total of $17.99. So for another $100, you're getting a brand new computer that is slightly more powerful and more performant than the MacBook Air 15 inch M2. But I still stand by my fact that if the budget allows it, 
go with the M3 Pro. You're also getting an additional Thunderbolt port on the Pro models or the M3 Pro or Max models over the M3 models. So I'm just gonna go ahead and compare right here. So on the M3, I'm just gonna scroll quickly down to the, the ports. You're getting two Thunderbolt ports on the M3 and you're getting three Thunderbolt 4 ports on the M3 Pro or M3 Pro Max chipset. So let's just change that here. So you're getting additional port here. So in music production, you need a port for your audio interface. You need a port maybe for a keyboard and maybe an additional port for something else. So it's always better to have more ports. So that's why I think the base M3 Pro 14 inch MacBook Pro is the one to go for music production. You're getting 11 core CPU, 18 gigs of memory and 512 SSD storage for $19.99. And you have the option to get that space black color. But that's just my take. As a music producer, that's the one I would choose. Let me know which one you would choose down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.